Semeno. Semeno. <laughs> Hello. Hello, we're back finally. <laughs> yeah, long break. Yeah. So today we're going to learn the one more Mongolian alphabet. Yeah. So this is mostly for the Tibetan foreign words. Yeah, Tibetan Tibetan word in Mongolian. Yeah. Okay? Not all Tibetan words, yeah. but like most. Yeah, mostly. So uh the main point is the pronunciation yeah it's very difficult for mongolian people yeah yeah so first it's it's right like l h a yeah this is a right yeah. lach. 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 something like this one, yeah right? something like yeah that. for example this is the how to pronounce it so lasa lasa yeah, yeah. lasa is the capital city of uh, Tibet. Yeah. yeah. The very, very famous people and a uh, very famous uh, place, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Okay. So this first thing, Lhasa. Yeah. Then in Mongolian, there's lots of people uh, have the Tibetan name. Like? Uh, like this one. Yeah. Lhasa. Yeah, uh, Lhasa. Well, yeah, this is he, he is a very famous singer in, in Inner Mongolia, from Inner yeah. Mongolia. And uh, his name is, in writing, is La Surin, La yeah. Surin, all right? La Surin. But in Inner Mongolian, people pronounce this two words. Most of the people pronounce Sa Surin. Sa Surin. Yeah, it sounds like Sa, yeah? Yeah. Sa Surin. Sa Surin. But some people pronounce La Surin. La Surin. Yeah. In this case, you have two words. Yeah. Sa or la. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's another name is very common in Inner Mongolia. But Lahua. Lahua. Yeah. Or it could we, be Rahua. Yeah. We have a H here, right? Yeah. But this with this one in daily life people pronounce this as a Ra. Yeah, Ra. Rahua. 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 And the B turns out to be like a W. W, yeah. 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 Anyway, today the main focus is the yellow stuff here. Yeah. So now we have three ways to pronounce this one in Mongolian, right? Yeah. Sa, sa la, and ra. ra. Yeah. For example, sa sirin. Sa sirin. La sirin. La or la sa. Yeah, la sa. Ra hua. Ra hua. This is already quite a confusing, all right? Yeah. Then, we then got this, this happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is a comment. It's yeah. like, ah, oh, okay. By the way, la is pronounced hla with the letter H coming before the L. I don't know why people began writing the L before the H. It throws people off. So that just gives you more to think about. <laughs> and you're like, um, I do not get this at all. Yeah. Yeah. So there, I think the, the person left this comment for us is our yeah, old friend. Uh, he is with the Tibetan background, so yeah. I believe he he. This is the based on the Tibetan pronunciation, I think. Yeah. But this will not help Mongolian people to pronounce this correctly. Yeah. <laughs> it just, uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just as a one more uh, knowledge, right? Yeah. Yeah. It seems that in Tibetan pronunciation is la is not la is khala. Yeah. Khalsa? <laughs> Khalsrin? Khalha? Yeah, we, we, even, we, we're getting just confused. Okay? Okay. So, to sum up, in yeah. Mongolian, if you counter yeah. a script like this one, yeah, that. yeah, just remember people pronounce differently. Three words. Yeah. Sa -la -la. Yeah. Yeah, and there's like not really a thing to like help you with it. It's like not like a vowel harmony or anything. You just have yeah. to like give a wild guess and hope you're right. Yeah, <laughs> and then there's not many words start with this letter. Yeah, so you might not like come yeah. across it that often. Yeah, so. this is Rahua, Sasrin, Sasrin, Lasa, Lasa. Okay. Okay. That is today's lesson. Yes, that is today's lesson. So, Munihu, should you say bye bye? Yep. Wait a second, I need to do something. Okay. Fire <laughs> uh, Is it stopped? Stop